This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan, check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan at andito ulit tayo ngayon para sa isang sulit monitor. So we have here the 1440p budget gaming monitor of Gigabyte with a 165Hz refresh rate and 1ms response time. Ngayon naalamin pa natin ang iba pang mga detalye about this monitor by looking at the performance, aesthetics and of course things about the changes or the price drops na nangyayari dito sa Pilipinas in the last few months and of course in the last year. That is also related sa ating mga sinabi last year about the price drop na pwedeng mangyari by this time because of those uh, budget gaming monitors that rolled out in the market. And for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe para mas marami pa kayo matutunan about gaming monitors and of course, uh, more reviews that will come soon with Gigabyte brand. Okay, so in the recent times, kadalasan naman nakikita natin from Gigabyte are those uh, Orus variants that comes with this uh, 27 inches 1440p resolution at a price point of not lower than 25,000. Pero tulad ng sinabi ko last year, maybe they are not the game changer in terms of technology, in terms of features, pero they really changed the market here in the Philippines. As I said on this video, love it or hate it, those budget gaming monitors, pero they deliver some impacts uh, pagdating sa monitor market. Na yun naman yung naging dahilan kung bakit nagkaroon ng mas mahigpit pa na competition. And uh, we are thankful to those kind of uh, brands sa, sa pag-i-initiate na paglalabas ng mga additional budget options na naramdaman ng mga mainstream brands pagdating sa monitors. And uh, ayun nga po mga kaibigan, ito po yung isa sa mga magandang impact na nagawa po nila. And uh, it's just sad to say that there is no uh, innovations for them to deliver monitors that will go on par with these uh, mainstream brands and uh, ayun nga po yung nangyari yung sinabi natin last year na aasahan natin by this coming months or yes this year of 2020 na magkakaroon na ng mga price drop and uh, actually this is now the year that you may now start investing on uh, good brands of monitors and of course good options now with that being said mga kaibigan we have here the gigabyte g27 QC as reviewed by international uh, channels that the best gigabyte budget 1440p monitors and so far here in the Philippines sa mga 1440p resolutions monitor, eto na po ang pinakamura na meron po tayo actually this gigabyte G27 QC is so far uh, listed sa mga price list na pinakamura po mga kaibigan na 1440p resolution with a 165Hz refresh rate and 1ms response time. And in terms of physical aesthetics, makikita din natin that it comes with this uh, gaming looks. Wala nga lang yung mga RGB fancy lightings, pero that is just for ornaments lang naman mga kaibigan. Kaya we may just overlook it. Especially kung ang hinahanap naman natin is price to performance ratio, of course, we will be focusing more on the performance. And now we have here sa aking side, the G27 QC running this uh, simulation game at makikita nyo naman po na sa on-cam pa lang, napakaganda na ng kanyang performance na pinapakita sa atin. And when we dig deeper in terms of features from the physical aesthetics, mayroon po siyang speaker, uh, you can uh, tilt yung kanyang screen, depende sa ka viewing angle na gusto mo. Sad to say you can uh, set it to portrait, pero okay. It's fine. It's the cheapest 1440p mainstream monitor. So, okay. As of now, we can consider it. Pero hopefully in the future, uh, maidagdag din yung uh, pwede natin siyang maiportrait. Pero, ano pa ano? You can slide uh, up or down din naman. So, it's okay. It's fine. The stand is uh, sturdy. Um, it's a good base compared sa mga budget monitors. Hindi siya... 
uh, gumagalaw. Ayan, napaka-stable po niya. And then it comes with this AOS do button that is a joystick type. So it's a pretty uh, premium feature. And uh, there are lots of options that you may uh, check. So andyan yung mga aim stabilizer, black equalizer, super resolution, uh, overdrive of course. It's uh, for the ghosting uh, part and then freezing. And uh, a lots of uh, picture preset that you may uh, choose. Like uh, from standard, FPS, RTS, RPG, uh, movie, uh, reader, sRGB, and uh, custom settings that you may uh, set. And then low blue light uh, for long time of uh, using the computer. Uh, if you want to set it at a low blue light para medyo hindi masakit sa mata. Kasi may mga uh, users po, particular number of users that uh, really can't stand with the uh, blue light ng ating mga monitors. So, if you want to lessen na medyo naluluha-luha kayo habang kaharap niyo yung monitor, you may set that uh, low blue light. Actually, ako po yung isa sa mga nagsiset po nun personally kasi medyo uh, maabot pa ako ng 12 hours to 18 hours which is a very good option that is uh, given to us by Gigabyte kasi kahit pa paano, those uh, mainstream monitors uh, options na ina-enjoy nila at 29K more or less, eh pwede na rin natin may experience at a 10K plus uh, lesser price point of 18,000 more or less na G27 QC. And yes, I also enjoyed that PIB and PVP option in the always the buttons. And uh, ayan po yung isa sa mga medyo sinamantala ko nung uh, kinakalikot ko itong monitor. Pero moving on in terms of color quality, which is uh, most of the time, uh, compromise sa mga budget monitors we got here 100% sRGB rating in terms of color quality na naiprovide sa atin ng ating tester na Spider X Pro sa ating display analysis and also we have decent Adobe RGB rating so this is the reason which give us the idea that this monitor is not only for gaming pero it's also a good monitor that you may consider for editing. So kung sakasakali na medyo budget po tayo and may balak tayong mag-edit at saka mag-games then this is the go-to monitor that you may have because of that kind of uh, very good results in terms of color quality. Then uh, moving on to the G-Sync compatibility uh, na-enable po natin yung G-Sync with this uh, FreeSync monitor and then we also found out the box na HDR ready na po yung monitor pero yun nga mga kaibigan with that kind of 300 nits uh, na, na ipakita sa atin ng ating tester mukhang malabo nating may enjoy ang HDR experience dito sa monitor na to so uh, with that 300 uh, uh, plus nits na naging result um, I doubt that you will love uh, the quality or the experience kasi for HDR experience talaga mga kaibigan it needs to be at a higher 100% uh, brightness results Pero ayun nga mga kaibigan, it's just an HDR ready monitor pero it's not a monitor that you will love for HDR experience because of that uh, brightness. So yun lang siguro yung medyo uh, major na downside for me ng ating monitor na to. Pero for a price point of 18,000 more or less, I think there's no monitor naman na meron ng uh, ganung performance especially if uh, you are looking for a monitor that is 1440p resolution, 165Hz, and 1ms response time. And yes, for the overall thing that I may say about this monitor, you may have it, especially kung peace of mind yung hinahanap natin. Rather than going for those uh, monitors na hindi naman uh, ganung kaganda yung pangalan, or those monitors na hindi pa mainstream pagdating sa mga uh, manufacturing ng mga computer parts, or konti na lang naman yung idadagdag mo like you will just be adding uh, 3,000, 2,000 for this 1440p resolution monitor I think you may just sacrifice or may you may just uh, save uh, a little bit more pagdating sa budget and consider having this uh, 18,000 more or less gigabyte Oros monitor yun lang po yung masasabi ko kasi as of today trampant na po sa Pilipinas yung iba't ibang monitors yes, I admit myself na naglabas din ako ng mga monitors na ganun but that was given the time na syempre sobrang layo eh. If you want to have those 1440p resolutions last year, uh, you should invest uh, at least 20,000 plus. Pinakamababa that time is 25k. 
But this year of 2020, when those, uh, when the competition is uh, naging tight, pero tulad nga na sinabi ko sa mga previous videos mga kaibigan, if there is only a mainstream brand that will drop the prices at this kind of uh, below 20k, then I doubt that you still need to go for those budget monitors na binebenta or na introduce in the recent years. So as of now, um, the competition is naging tight. So time has changed. Tulad ng sinasabi ko rin sa mga previous video, what is right last year may not be right as of now. May or may be wrong as of now. So yung recommendation ko last year na yun yung mga pwede nyo i-consider na monitor, as of now, uh, hindi ko na po i-recommend yung mga yon kasi sobrang lapit na po ng presyo, nagbagsakan na po yung mga presyo ng monitor, start investing sa mga mainstream brands na po. And of course, uh, if uh, you have a doubt na baka may mga lalabas pa, then hold your budget kasi I am pretty sure that there are more monitors that will follow sa ginawa ni Gigabyte na maglalabas din sila ng mga budget 1440p monitors. Pero for now, uh, kodo sa Gigabyte for initiating the game, the competition, and yes, this is the best budget 1440p resolution under a mainstream brand here in the Philippines right now. So ayun mga kaibigan, it may not be the best monitor that you may have, pero in terms of price to performance ratio, this is one of the monitors that you may consider in the third quarter of 2020. Enjoy guys! And for more videos and monitor reviews in the coming days or months or years, feel free to subscribe. Thank you guys and have a nice day ahead.